Hello everyone, this is actually going to be a new thing for me. Today I'm going to be recording Terra Battle. Terra Battle is a mobile game and it's available for PC as well. When I found that out I immediately downloaded the PC version and we are going to play it. I Hopefully you can see my mouse here. Let's see, there it is. Alright, I'm going to be playing this on my little tablet, like not my, like, tablet, but my Wacom tablet. <laughs> it's like a drawing tablet. Got my buttons centered so I can click, click. I said click, click, click. There we go. There we go. The primordial civilization of Gallus. Millennia have passed since its fall. Those who remain now wander in ebbing twilight. The atmosphere dwindles and even gravity loses its grip upon solid ground. All who dwell here live ill at ease, for desolation and decay creep inexorably onward in every corner of the shattered land. The planet's demise is nigh. Has the Maker forsaken us, slumbering deep underground? With your fellow adventurers, you set out on a pilgrimage into the depths to find out. Let us find an uh, let's find an ally to join the quest. Now I believe this hero is always given it's kind of like our Pikachu. A fellow adventurer appears ready to join your cause. Yeah. Yes it is. This is our first adventure, our Pikachu, Lady Grace. All right. Now, and I believe this is our healer. What kind of healer we get is randomized, however. Another new companion then appears. Who do we get? Who do we get? Oh! We got Amazandria. Amazandria. I don't know what race she is. I think she's like a dog snake? But she's our healer. So we get one B-class hero and one double S hero, which is really good. Alright. Try flanking the enemy with a piercer attack. So how this game works, and you can play this on your phone as well, it's available for... I don't know if it's available for iOS, but I don't know it's definitely available for Android. You click, oh, click, I said click, click, cool. It's... it doesn't like it when it, that hero's on the freaking edge. Please. There we go. In order to attack, we have to surround the enemy. Alright. Grace, please. Co cooperate with me. Okay. Okay. Come on, please. Do I have to do this with mouse? I can do this with mouse at this... Okay. Mouse it is. I was hoping to do this with my tablet, but I guess we were gonna be doing this with a mouse. Alright, and we're gonna move her here, and move Grace over here. I am so glad that this game came out on PC. Alright, seek out new allies at the tavern. This is our starting set of heroes. Who? All right, someone who's your talk of fellowship. Knight. Yep, we always get a knight. Nice. All right. Chapter one, Borderlands two. This first chapter is like all tutorial. 
when one of your units flanks an enemy and directly aligns with an ally along the horizontal or vertical line, those allies can team up and unleash a coordinated attack. Alright, and we move over here. So these two attack, and this is our coordinated attack. So one, two, three. We want to try and align as, as many people as we can. So now we move right here. These two attack, and subsequently these two will attack this one. And we win the fight. The interesting part of this combat is when you do stuff like this. And you have to quickly move or maneuver your allies into place so you can take them all out, preferably in a single turn. It's always standard. Alright. Party formation. Add the warrior. Right. More tutorial. This icon indicates what type of weapon your character wields. Swords dominate bows, bows dominate spears, and spears dominate swords. This is the circle of carnage is reminiscent of rock, paper, scissors, and is the key to winning battles. So, okay. Now the first one you put down is the one that will have that end, uh, effect. If your weapon has an edge over the uh, foe, this its icon will glow and expand. Yep, and there we go. Alright, and this. Circle Carnage takes effect. Easy. Alright, and now it's time for us to use the Circle of Carnage. So, we have a little cheat sheet up here. So, this is a sword, and the spear right here is the one that gets a bonus to it. Now, just curious, if we put this right here, yep, our spear activates, and this guy gets taken out. And, uh, bows take out spears right here, so we can put our warrior down here. And he gets taken out. Look at split. Easy. But this game is not by any means easy. Oh my goodness, this is just a tutorial. When moving the units around the map, you can uh, uh, reposition allies by choosing a path that crosses theirs. Let me try this again with my tablet. By strategic by strategically maneuvering units and their allies this way, you can flank foes in a piercer attack with a single move. So, come on. Here we go. Alright, let's move Grace over. Let's move. Let's move Grace. Oh my god. Please. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta click. Ah, uh, I wanna use my tablet, gosh darn it. Alright. And now attack the enemy in the corner. Ah. Uh, I don't understand why I can't just, like, ah. Uh, Ah, 
I'm just following the tutorial right now. Oh, and we can speed this up if we wanted to, which makes everything nice and fast. Alright, let's see. Spear. Spear and book. So we can just make those two right here. And bows. Bows are weak to swords. So what we can do is we can move her right here and move our swords guy right there. And we get all the bonuses. And he gets taken out. Easy. tutorial. The enemy strikes first. Alright, now this is explaining healing, this is our healer. Certain skills have certain chances of activating when you attack. The healing skill replenishes the HP of allies positioned for a coordinated attack. So whenever she's around and does this green line thing, she will heal our compat uh, compatriot right here. Watch out, enemies that have all sorts of skills, too. Alright. And our big power thing. Once the power power builds up, a powered point appears. Now, if we move our little guy right here, we'll activate the power point, and all the skills will go off. And they just get absolutely annihilated. Here. What we're going to do is use Grace, and she's going to move down here and up here to activate the power point and activate everything. Take out our big boss guy. This guy kind of reminds me of a Digimon from the early concepts. I don't know if the artist that did that really worked on this. They have a lot of people working on this game. <laughs> Rip you. Alright. Sword. Sword. to six members at once. You can deploy up to six members to find, find allies at the tavern via the main menu. Chapter clear. Now we get a little lightning bolt. Alright. Now we have lots of stuff to do. This is our challenge menu. This is essentially our, uh... Our, uh, what's I'm gonna call it? Events. No, oh, excuse me. Oh boy. Uh, Chronicles chapter 5. We have a whole bunch of different uh, uh, achievements we can do. Chronicles chapter 5. Complete chapter 5. Alright. Let's see. Characters. Graces. Uh, Grace. What exactly are you? Oh, you're lizard folk. So we have a lizard folk healer. And she gets mega heal chain 100%, magic defense plus 10% self. Okay. Interesting. Alrighty. Oh, back up there. Oops, not that much. Uh, no. What is this? Ooh, we get open all. Ah, uh, we get lots of coins, we get energy, we have companion tickets, and benevolent fangs. Don't know what those are. However, tickets we can use to recruit people. We have lots of coins. Alright, we have the Pact of Faith, the Pact of Truth, uh, that, uh, how many, I don't know how many tickets I have. Um, Pact of Fellowship. Alright, well, I always find 
that this big glowy f one is the one to go for. Hmm. Pact of Truth or Pact of Faith? This one can only be the so I'm gonna use this one. Uh, good money, good money, good money, good money. Ah. Someone here moved by the Chalk of Truth. We got a giggle. Ooh. I don't- Ooh, I like you. I don't know what you do, but you're an archer and you look like a fancy guy. Alright. Four times in a row. Uh... I'm gonna do it. Who do we got? Uh, not too great. Okay. Macorbling. Stonefolk Knight. Interesting. Sabretooth. And a Magma Money. Okay. Alright, not too fancy, but hey. And I think... Do we have a ticket? Yeah, we have... We have tickets. Alright, three white letters. A fairy fan. A frog fan. And a demon's chronicle. Okay, let's see. Alright, what else can we do? Can we do anything else here? It appears not. Alright. Party formation. I'm gonna switch out our regular knight for our stone folk knight. Let's see. Grace. Well, well, let me, before I do that, let me check the differences. We have ice arrow. Interesting. Magic defense. Glacial arrows. 43 attack. And he's. I might just stick him in here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So we got uh, two archers, one healer, a uh, stone folk knight, a warrior, and I'm gonna throw in the magma money. Magma money uh, has mega regen, which is pretty nice. companions work is we can, for example, we'll do Grace. With Grace, we can uh, equip her with a companion. Level two level. Okay, what kind of levels do I need? Uh, hmm. Okay, level 15, level 15, and level 15. So once we get our characters up to level 15, we can equip them with special items to do effects. Poison 20%, Confuse 20%, Death 20%, what the heck is that? Kills target instantly. What does Confuse do? Log in, we can get like new little gifts. Now, what do we have here? Let's just go ahead and do chapter two. We got our little, we got our party. Chapter two. Uh, looks good. Let's start by heading to for the capital. You aim to gather information there. I hear there are lizard folk and beast folk at the capital. Aye, and a troublesome lot they are. They're noisy for one thing, and just plain rude to boot. I'd rather have nothing to do with them. Normally I agree, but they keep knowledge others have forgotten. Knowledge. It is the guide point, uh, gu guide post, uh, guide po guide post to the maker, but humanity has neglected and even forsaken it. Do you think the maker really exists? It's a matter of faith. Either you believe or you don't. Shh. Someone or something is here. 
All right, so our job is to find some lizard folk and beast folk. And we're gonna use our little mic buddy here, and we're gonna move right here. Yes. This guy can, oh, he's got lateral slash. All right, that's fine. We're gonna see what this guy does. Ooh, all right. They are swords. So what I'm gonna do? Oh god. Uh. 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 Ah. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. I'm gonna grace up here, please, Grace. Mouse, Grace, do it. Ugh. Oh, they this is why I want to use a tablet. I'm gonna try my tablet once more, cuz, oh my god. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Uh, I definitely want you. Alright, come on. Come on. Alright, there we go. Alright. I think I can do this. To use my tablet. Oh, thank goodness. Alright. Now here comes the interesting part. Both of these two guys are gonna attack next turn. So, I wanna definitely put him over here. Hmm. Question is... I'm gonna use Grace. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Yes. If you can defeat more enemies in a single turn, you get more experience bonus. Oh, power thing. Mind you, uh, enemies can also use this thing. These guys are a little too stupid to realize that, but... Now, let's see... This is gonna be interesting. There's Grace here. Alright. Uh, ah, ah, shoot! Too slow. Alright. Okay, okay, let's go. Grace, let's go. Wait, no, I didn't. Mm. That's rude. That's rude, game. That's rude. I mean, sure, why not? Uh, let's move Magma Mine over here. Easy. Many creatures roam this world. Most numerous are the race of men, who ever speak mystery, mastery, who ever seek mastery over the land. Then there are the lizard folk, a sentient bipedal race combined both reptilian and am amphibian traits. Another sent sentient race is the feral humanoids known as the beast folk. And then there are the predators, creatures that live only to feed on others. So these are our predators. Alright. Hmm. What if we do 
double archers. Nice. Alright. And our knight guy right here. Excellent. Sword. Sword would be... I was not... Oh, don't do this to me, game. There you go. Ah, uh, all that extra EXP. Interesting. I'm gonna save this. So we have one guy in place. Next, we're gonna move... We're gonna move him over here. And we're gonna start ranking up the different attacks. Oh, oh, interesting. Oh, you piece of poop! Uh-huh. Maybe we can take him out, though. Should be dead by now. Okay, we're gonna... Hmm. There's no way I can get this guy this turn, unless I do this. Hopefully this will work. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Mm. Oh, whatever. One down. Right, attack. didn't go off? Okay, fine, whatever. Alright, and we're gonna finish this off with Grace. Now I went off. This guy gave me a little bit of trouble. Thankfully, nothing too much, but hey, the bosses later in game can get really uh, feisty. 
Alright, come on, let's go. Alright. We got a malevolent tooth, not sure what that does. The predators attack, kill, and devour. Whatever is near, their gluttony has no bounds and knows no reason. Dr Draco. Dracorin. Uh huh. So this guy's gonna be attacking next. He's a bow, so he's weak to sword, so we have our little swordsman guy here. Should be fine though. And we're gonna move. I think Grace and the Magnum Honey. Okay. There we go. Easy. This guy should get taken out of. taken out easy. But just to put pressure on the wound. on the chopping block. Here. Uh -huh. No chance. Anything really? This guy's done for. Well, I'll move him right over here. All right, four out of five. All right, I'm gonna move. This guy's gonna attack regardless. So what I can do is I can move him over here. That'll bring ma magma money down. And then I can quickly move this guy to be down here. Like so. Or not. Or I screw it up. That's fine. Grace over here, it would work in my favor. So what do I do? So here, oh boy, oh boy. That's not exactly what I wanted to do. I'm not claiming to be good at this game. Alright. However, I think I can make this work. I'm gonna just move her over there. This guy right here. Nice. Perfect. Easy. Skill 
boost, skill boost. Nice. We can almost summon a new guy. Survivors of the f f fittest is what drives predators' evolution. Tooth, venom, claw, and savagery rule their kind. Essentially, the big meanies. Break the slice. Alright. Rip. <laughs> right then. Alright, we need you, and we're gonna use you. Ah, there we go. do make this work. There we go. Let's go. Take him out. There's no way I can get this guy right now. Unless I move. Maybe I can't. Okay, these two should be fine on their own. These two need some work. Perfect. Let's just take out the lion. And this guy doesn't move. Something. 
the capital comes into view. We're almost there. Let's see. Go. Uh. Oh, that didn't work out well. Rude. Rude. Okay, let's see. Hmm, you know what? We can definitely take this guy out. You want to heal in the dead? We'll do it. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so we what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try to get Grace. There we go. And this guy should get some regen from the mummy. So everyone's got nice healing. And okay, this guy we might be able to corner. Hmm. How to corner? Yes. Don't want to use that right now. Okay, well, sword. Sword, sword, sword. Okay, now we might want to use it. What I'm gonna do... First, I want to get rid of these butt heads. All right, We're gonna move our friendo over there into a square formation. So this should get rid of both of them. All right, and then we can deal with this big headache. All right. Okay, this guy's a sword, so we need spear guy. He's right here. All right. Hmm. What we can do is we can attack him at a cross, and then yeah. change weapons. Ooh, okay. This is the first time this has happened. All right, so he's now a spear, which means we need to use our bow. What we can do is do that, do that, do that. And Crackles with energy. Not sure what that means. However, what I do want is I want Grace to get some regen. Yes! Still 
boost. We got a white ring. Interesting. And we have enough to. Nice. Oh, we got a dragon. Uh, dragon ring. We'll have been. We'll have to befriend the lizard folk and the beast folk if we hope to learn of the owl gu guidepost to the maker. What do you propose? Bribe them with ale? Even simpler. A show of strength. So you're saying we should cow them? Well, they are savages after all. The gates of the capital open, oh, open and welcome. Alright. Hints. At the end of the battle, you may receive a luck chest uh, containing uh, bonus rewards. The higher a team's average luck, the more likely you are to get one. Interesting. You can see each character's luck stat on the character selection screen or the status screen next to the L icon. L icon? L icon. I don't see the L icon. Oh, there it is. This uh, orange one. Luck can be increased through packs of fates or quests. The metal zone opens several times a day. Each as earn as much XP as you can by defeating the metal uh, monsters scurrying around the area. Their king will sometimes appear as part of the catch up special to help lower level characters catch up to the rest of the party. Interesting. Alright, now before we start chapter 3. Ah, closing in 65 minutes. We are gonna go to the tavern, and we're gonna recruit. We can recruit once via Pact of Faith. Let me see. Can we do anything else? There's the Pact of Faith, Pact of Truth. Okay. Okay. I think the best one would be this one, the Pact of Faith. Alright, let's try this once. Who do we get? Okay, we get an average hero. Following the whispers of fate, and even more binding, and even more binding contract was sealed. All right, we got a saber tooth. All right, so we had just received a. Uh, Dragonkorn, and our saber tooth that we got from last time has leveled up once, and its luck is five. So it makes it our the saber tooth makes it our luckiest character. Interestingly enough, all it's got is mega spear fifty percent. Uh, personally, not a fan. All right, all right. I think this will end this episode, and we'll have another one fairly shortly. All right, have a good one, everyone.